when her mother suddenly divorces her father and leaves their comfortable home in Kolkata. Nitya finds herself in the new setting of Navi Mumbai. Her life is turned upside down. She must navigate life in a new city. Start a new job at a call center. And let go of her ambition to go to the United States to get an MBA. She soon meets and befriends the extremely nice Ritesh Jetmalani. Who helps her cope with all this change? Uddharan, Kirti Vagishkar, Ritesh's girlfriend, has plans to marry Rich. She spends an entire month's salary on a Gucci bag and dreams of marrying Yash Modi. A billionaire by birth. She resents her elder sister Parimal's life as a housewife with her grouchy traditional husband. Ganpatrav. Nitya's mother Benita Sen is troubled by her failed marriage. She hopes to find the new start she needs in New Mumbai. She is befriended by the women in the colony and joins their kitty party. She knows her daughter is angry with her and blames her for their situation. But believes that this was their best alternative. Benita's father had left her some shares. At her father's old stock brokerage house she meets Feroz Setna. An ethical, but cranky and eccentric. Stock broker who teaches her the ropes of investing. Uddharan Chene. In the meantime, the group of kitty party ladies feels that Benita is up to something. They learn that she is trying to sell stocks and they want to become amateur investors. And switching from watching soap operas to watching CNBC to look for investing opportunities. Uddharan. One day at work. Nitya overhears Source discussing plans to get their children married. She tells her mother, who advises her friends to invest in their companies because the stock prices are likely to go up. With the marriage, with all kitty ladies invested emotionally and financially in the company, Benita determines that having Ritesh marry Kirti is best for everyone. Nitya, despite her feelings for Ritesh, Waits for the wedding day to arrive in silence. Benita sees her daughter's dilemma and finally tells her the real reason for her coming to New Mumbai. Her husband had left her for a younger woman. And she did not want her daughter to deal with the pressure or gossip. Nor did she want to be dependent on him.